Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 3 of my Aston Villa FIFA 20 career mode series. Leave a like on today's video if you're enjoying this so far, and for a big episode today where we're going to be getting into our first Premier League game, but... We're also going to be on uh, on the hunt, on the hunt for one more signing, but we are just going to continue and see see what we're going to get. Uh, we're, we've got a couple of weeks, a week and a bit until the Tottenham game. So yeah, Shibola, uh, that that's annoying. That's very annoying. I, I really want him to go through because oh, for a transfer we want to make, yeah, we're trying to f hopefully just free up a little bit extra. There's a loan offer for Jacob Ramsey, which we are going to go ahead and accept. Uh, like 53 overall player, won't be utilized this season. Free up a little bit of wage. And about Chester. Yeah, about Chester, we are going to reject that. Um, I left it. I didn't see too many comments. I, I did ask a lot of things in, in the video, so it's hard to cover everything. And yeah, James Chester is good. Good coverage, good coverage for the first team. Because then we'd have to go out and sign another centre-back. would be one short. Four first-team centre-backs is a really good balance. And okay, guys, just to let you know, that signing is Tammy Abraham. A lot of you guys got up in the comments for suggesting him. Yeah, bring him back to Aston Villa. He's a, he's a great striker at Chelsea now. So the thing is, he's got a release clause. It's just 23 million there. So our budget was right on the cusp, right on the cusp of that right now. As you can see, I actually lowered the wage budget a little bit so we can get over, yeah, we can get over that amount. But then we'd be, yeah, really sucked dry, so to speak. And <laughs> then, yeah, we would have no money uh, heading into January. So that's why I was hoping that deal would go through, but it got declined, yeah, for Shibola. But yeah, there's some demand for Ramsey though. Okay, I s it said, yeah, that's going to be rejected. Okay, oh, yes, Elmo. Yeah, I, I forgot about the one that was... Ex it, yeah, I for forgot about that deal that was accepted uh, by RB Salzburg. So, yeah, they've gone on. Uh, he's gone on, so that frees up a little bit more, especially wages as well. Okay, yeah, Jacob Ramsey, that broke down. Got a couple teams in for him, though. So, yeah, now, uh, yeah, transfer budget. So, make sure we cover what that is uh, to spend on, on Tammy. Just make sure you have that 23, 23 million. Then we've got a bit of wage budget. So would cover cover his wage demands, I'd like to think. And then a training session right here. Yeah, still got Grealish, Douglas Louise, and Konza actually there. And I saw a comment saying Konza was better than Chester. Because uh, he is younger, of course, even though his overall is a bit lower. So you probably see him as, ooh, good training there. He gets an A. Yeah, beef up those defensive attributes. That's what I love about centre-backs to... Uh, younger center backs you can develop you just train hard train hard on the adept defending scenarios get those four defending attributes up because like midfielders like other attackers they rely on more attributes but those are really the key key attributes for defenders so guys the situation with tammy abraham we know how good he is. We know the player, but I don't know his exact attributes, but we know, yeah, we know the quality he is at the moment, and we know the potential in him, and his value's at 11 million. And of course, you can see the summary, the summary, you see the base of his attributes, and, but we know, <laughs> yeah, the, I was just saying, really, we know how good, yeah, Tammy Abraham is. So, I'm, I'm not gonna go for the release clause as, with my experience in career mode, it really depends. But in this case, when you see what the value is compared to the release clause, you, there's a good chance you get it just a little bit cheaper. Even though, because we want to get him as soon as possible. So, no. We don't want to, because we can get, I was going to say, make sure we had the money. But taking a look at that, his value is only 11 million. So, I reckon we could get it a bit under 20 maybe. So, yeah. I, I, I kind of know the ballpark range where to put the first offer in. Just somewhere between his value and release clause. So, yeah, with Frankie Lampard going in. If you don't mind, allow me to start with an initial offer. Let's see. Let's see how we go about this. So, we're going to go We're gonna go 15 or 14. 14 million to start off. Because, yeah, when you make offers... Yeah. Let's just make the offer and see. I don't think that's going to be accepted. I think we could maybe get it up to, like, 17, 18, maybe 19 but definitely under his release clause. See, guys, that got accepted. That got accepted. 
cheaper than his release clause. I'm just thinking maybe it could have been the li- we could have got him a little bit cheaper. That's the only thing when you get it, when you get an offer accepted first up. But when I was just about to prepare to pay his full full price, and I say full price, twenty three million for <laughs> a release clause. Uh, yeah, we take that. And when his value is eleven million, a guy with his potential, yeah, I think that's not too bad. But it always plays on your mind. You're like, "Ooh, could you got him cheaper?" If you, yeah, that first offer went in. But look at the positives. I was planning to pay that release clause. So, all right, let's let's hope let's hope and get something something decent or decent fee. Um, yep, I think rotation rotation's fair enough. How he'll fit into the squad. Before we move on to something else, let's agree on the length. Yep, five-year deal. Straightforward. Straightforward deal. Disregards release clause. They don't want that either. And his wage, it's... Okay. We can't see again. Because uh, uh, we didn't want to wait too long. I want him to be ready for the season. I want him to be there playing our first game of the season. So, 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 guys. We're going to counter. I like to make... You know my way so far. When I, especially it's a player that I don't want to lose the chance of signing. We just we lower it a little bit, so we'll go we'll go 35k, we'll go 35k, and the signing bonus hey it's 400k. We'll leave that as the same and the appearances whatever. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I say whatever so casually with a transfer. That's going to be really big. The five year, sign him. Tammy Abraham, uh, five-year, five-year deal, Aston Villa. It's not quite what we were hoping for, but he's eager to join the club. Officially, officially joining, permanently, Tammy Abraham, five-year deal, Aston Villa, and we tie it up just like that. But yeah, you see, he's 76 overall. I think that's decent. 14 mil for a guy, 76 overall. Uh, Mid 80s potential. He's, I believe, it's 85. Uh, he's got. He's going to develop that speed and strength, and that's going to be pretty strong together. Like right now, it's a good mix in high 70s. You wouldn't say it's overly dominant, but when you have that mix together, and the fact that he's six foot five, yeah, definitely, he's better than Davis. And he's better than Kodja as well. That's saying a lot. And he's younger in his career. The point is, though... Well, actually, guys, I was thinking about a formation... A bit of a formation change as well. We may as well do it now. And that is with a 4-2-3-1. So we're going to base the team... Uh, especially when you've got a guy like Grealish. He's going to... We need that... We like that creative playmaker. At least I, I like that creative playmaker, more specifically. And we're going to have players that can play in that position. We've got Lee, and the fact that that's going to be left midfield and right midfield, not left wing and right wing, and he's got that in his positions. So, yeah, that's going to fit. That's going to fit nicely. And see, both those both those center mids or center defensive mids, when they're center defensive mid in, in a FIFA formation, uh, yeah, it really depends on their work rates. So Nakamba's going to act more like a... See, what we'll switch Nakamba because he's got yeah, poor weak foot, only two star. And yeah, McGinn, you know, he's a fan favorite. So we're going to look to be starting him. Even though we do have the likes of Lee, wouldn't play Lee defensive mid, I think. Either where Grealish is or on one of left midfield or right midfield. So yeah, that's what we look to do. And... And I, I'm liking the setup of the team like that. Just it, we've got a bit more strength, and it looks a bit more heavy in midfield. Uh, especially, yeah, you got Grealish there in attacking midfield, but and when he drops back as well, when we're defending, yeah, it's, it's a good. And then Wesley just up top, and compared to having the wingers and then left midfield and right midfield instead. So Tammy Abraham, that's going to be it's going to be up to Wesley to showcase his dominance. And it's good that we have the both same type of strikers, like target men, like really tall lads. And we can always, always look for those headers, regardless who's playing up top. Maybe in the future, to utilize them both, we could have two strikers. But for now, if a 4-2-3-1, um, I, I play pretty well with as well. So that'll be a good, a good way to kick things off. So that's, I'm glad that's all done and dusted. Ramsey, yeah, he's loaned out. McGinn. You guys will be saying absolutely no for John McGinn. So do we go as far as just block offers? Because, yeah, you guys are saying he's a big fan favorite. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to be selling him then. And, guys, I know Tammy Abraham did have number 18 last year, didn't he? That was uh, th- That's a format target now. So that's his official number <laughs> for this year. So I wouldn't want to change that. He's 14 at the moment. So 
that could be that was he was given that by default. So let's say that's the omen. That's an omen for him to uh, make himself now. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what you guys think about because yeah, Target's still around the first team. He's going to play games. He'll rotate left back. So yeah, I'm sure you guys will think that. So, yeah, with Shibola, it's going to be this case, I guess. He's going to be one of those that keeps getting that transfer offer. Uh, so, hopefully that one, that's been the best offer so far. So, I hope it goes through. Ooh, there's actually a better one. 800k coming in now. So, hope that hope that does. Ho hope either one. Sure, you'd like that. A little bit extra. But at this point, we just want him to be leaving. Okay. With a bit of luck, one of these is exactly that. No, it's... Neil, ooh. all right, who's this player chat with? Matt Targa, I've been pretty, ooh, see, that's a tough one, guys. We're going to say I'll consider it, but our big signing is Henricks, and Henricks can play right back as well, but then you've got Gilbert, he's 76 overall. He's just, yeah, here's a press conference, guys, for Spurs. So how does a preseason impact the squad ahead of the first competitive match? We have a lot of quality in this squad. Here we go. Say that. Can the team remain clear? Oh, definitely, yeah. Say clear of relegation. The squad is capable. So, yeah, let's boost up the morale early, guys. You know that's good for players' attributes. Tammy Abraham as well. After Abraham's acquisition from Chelsea, fans are eagerly awaiting, for sure. For sure, get him back to Aston Villa now. as a permanent signing. He'll prove he's the right man for sure so boost him up a little bit he'll start on the bench but it, it gives you a big question because we've got two two good talented strikers okay, guys, now so much for today see you next time and on that deal with neil taylor we're not going to mess around and yeah worry about it too much Th hey the value uh 1.3 million offer 1.3 million uh, i reckon that's fair enough to go ahead and accept and of course guys what other way would a fifa 20 career mode start with norwich beating guess who Liverpool, you know the deal, uh, bigger teams dropping points, sure, big teams lose in real life, but happens quite regularly, but hopefully, hopefully, exactly there, we could be capable of a mid-table finish in this first season, definitely avoiding relegation, but we want to finish, yeah, finish as high as we can, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with the alternate kit on the home kit, yeah, because we've got the white shorts as well, we'll go with the alternate, I don't mind that, looks all right. And we already set up the core. We've already set up the core. But again, start of the new series. First game I do play, I just go through all the settings. Yeah, we do not adjust any sliders throughout the series. Never touch sliders. Just so you guys know. Doesn't affect anything like that. And yeah, the, I use default camera. Haven't touched the camera. We play five minute half length. And yeah, legendary, legendary difficulty. Uh, which I'm finding, if you see my Man United career right now, I feel that's a good level for me. I do want to up to ultimate. Obviously, this is like the first week of FIFA 20, so we're building up. But it's going to be very interesting with a newly promoted team, how we're going to go. Let's let's go ahead into it, guys. Let's go. Because, guys, I mean, is this Tottenham the same? Tottenham is playing a very weak team, am I right? See, they've got Kane on the bench, Vertonghen, I saw quickly. This, at least this gives us more of a chance. But we have to wait until an update. Is there really anything else I can do myself? Not really. <laughs> you can't control the other teams. And it's just another thing about EA. But I hope this doesn't make you lose interest out of the series. Because it's not something in my control. So, yeah. Thank you guys for understanding. And, yeah, please don't drop off the series for something out of my control. Because they might score, <laughs> guys. They might score anyway. You see, they're still going to play with the same intent as a Tottenham side would. They'll, they'll, they'll attack us. They'll be on the attack. See? See, I told you. And get that pressure with the keeper save right to them. So, yeah, guys. Ah. Uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be as easy as it it would appear if they're not playing their best players. I could I, I could feel that coming. So yeah, they they're heavy heavy with the possession early guys. And doing stuff with it. Doing some uh overcommitted. Hayden. 
Now Grealish. Good pass. Now McGinn. Moves well on the ball, like that. Now look at the overlap. Are we going to feed that? Yeah, Henricks. The new signing. See, look. Walker, P he's good. You know he's got pace. And he shut it down so quickly. <laughs> yeah, as I said. Not going to be easy at all. When you get caught up like that, you can't say. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to go out by Parrot. There we go. Al Ghazi. So down that side might be a little hard. So let's go down the right then. Wesley. Come on. Yes, back to Wesley. Oh, almost. Almost good hit. Good hit, dangerous. Can we get ahead on goal? Oh, that could have gone any anywhere. Ooh. Super close. So John McGinn. Now Mings. A lot of you saying he's underrated as well, or should be rated higher. Now Grealish. Grealish on the ball. Ooh, tried to work a bit of dribbling. Look at this, Nakamba! Straight at Whiteman. Yeah, it is weird not playing against their best 11, for sure. But again, out of my control. Oh, Wesley! Almost, Grealish! Where's, oh, we're going super close. Walker Peters. He's someone who's a little bit more first team. Compared to the rest. <laughs> we have possession though. See guys, they're making a change now. Now Dali Ali. Guys, now it's going to get hard. Now it's going to get even more hard. Because Dali Ali's on the pitch. Now their best players are going to come on. Well, they can only make three changes, but still. Dali Ali. He's on the ball. Oh, Wesley. Oh, can we get this through? We do. Al Ghazi has to... Oh, how did he miss? How did I miss that? Oh, that was so close. Needed to control that better, I guess, to finesse it in. I've been used to Martial and Rashford in my Man United career, just nicely finessing that home. Mm. This is... I don't exactly want to take Wesley off, because that strength is so valuable. What I'm going to do, drop Grealis, say... I'm going to treat that as, yeah, central mid, basically. Switch over to that side. Central mid... And then Nakamba off, and Abraham on. Let's just switch this. Yeah, left striker and right striker. There we go. Maybe move... Yeah, well, there you go. Technically, yeah, central midfield. McGinn. Let's just, let's just move him up. So, essentially, we've just basically turned this into like a... <laughs> a 4-2... Four, four, like a 4-4-2. Four, a four, four, essentially. Essentially, with those changes. And hey, that's what I mean. We can we can be we can be able to do that. So marvelous. He wasn't that marvelous. He, okay, he did all right. He did all right. No disrespecting him. Now Abraham, look at the turn. Oh, let's get a ball through. Not quite. Oh, the keeper could be under pressure. We still got 30 minutes to do something. Mings, his height, mate. Can we look for overlap? Overlapping run. We do get it eventually in Henricks. So he can cut in. Oh. Oh. Imagine that ball got through. This is toughy. This is toughy. That's offside. Okay. Glad, glad that happened so we can make some changes now, guys. Glad we can... Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, Grealish. He's been... He's been all right, but we're going to make... Do we make two? Let's bring on Garcia and Lee. Yeah? Two really creative types. And push Al Ghazi up. We're, we're going like a... Whew, we're going extreme now, yeah? Where are we? This is like a 4-2-4. Four, four. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest this as the default formation. But we need a goal. And see, Harry Kane's coming on. <laughs> now it's like... <laughs> looks so hard. When there would be normally 
he and Dali Ali would be starting plus okay let's go Abraham we need that overlap coming through oh but we forget it to Al Ghazi shoot lad shoot it oh it's gonna I'm feeling maybe we could maybe we could get something the ball is in guess who oh that was Tammy Oh, see, it would be a nice little fairy tale if Tammy Abraham scored, but yeah, we're still trying to find our way with this new team. Oh, pull, pass that man. Who's gonna be the guy we pass to? That's the question. Come on, Alex Garcia. Oh, come on, run. Now someone else. Oh, he's offside, is he? Oh, yeah, it wasn't going to be a goal. Ah. We didn't get in that much space for the whole game, though. Oh, I didn't expect that. Ah, oh, yeah. Nah, that's going to be it anyway. Sorry, guys, I couldn't score. Uh, but, yeah, just give me a chance to get with this new team. Just to adjust for a few matches. If you watch my Man United series, yeah. Took a while, took a while to get going. We had five shots on target, and I know they didn't even play their strongest team. And we're going to skip them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going into the interview. Uh, yeah, just it's going to take a few games to find my feet with my new players. Players I've really never used before, so keep that in mind as we, yeah, as we're going to look to. And again, <laughs> I I don't think it even matters if Tottenham didn't play their best team. It's not an issue because they still won. <laughs> they still won. So yeah, gonna take a bit of time to find find my feet. Oh, sorry, target, but man, like, squad rotation is important, and he's happy enough with that. Uh, what else? Yeah, we already dealt with that. Shibola breaking down. That's not new. Monthly scouting update. Anyone here? Uh, Cooper will leave. Peter Mitchell will leave. Oh, Max Kelly. I reckon we'll sign him up. Yeah. He, that overall looking pretty nice. Uh, Marcus Green rejects. George Green, maybe leave. Mason Cooper leave. And Peter Wilson, we're going to reject. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Because we're not going to make any more transfers. Or if you take a look at our budget, yeah. It, it, we want to keep a little bit. We want to keep some, some of the kitty there for heading into January uh, for pre-contract. So, Hey, my, my manager rating is 89. So what is it that we've done well? What have we ticked off? Is it the, the, the shirt sales, what we're doing well in? Because everything else, yeah, it's so early. So early in. So yeah, guys, it's interesting what to take out of that. Because going into it, I thought Tottenham would be a hard game. But then you look at their team, they didn't start with their strongest 11. But it was still hard. Because like I said, they still had that same attacking intent, uh, possession keeping game. And <laughs> then eventually Harry Kane came on. Uh, Dali Ali came on. Uh, was, so it was still tough to break them down. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the upcoming fixtures and see see what we've got. We've got Bournemouth at home, Everton, and Crystal Palace. Those are... The, those three games, they're winnable for us. And then West Ham. So, actually, that ne those next four... This, yeah, Two-week gap there at the start of December. Uh, the September, sorry. <laughs> September. Uh, but, yeah, West Ham, West Ham United. So, yeah, those next four. The West Ham and Crystal Palace, Everton, Bournemouth, and just said them in reverse order that time. But they're, they're going to be our early testing games to see where we're at. Because you look at our initial squad, it's decent. It's decent. Uh, our starting eleven and then uh, our best substitutes. I think I think that's all right. So yeah, this is going to be definitely a challenge save for me um, because even as I said with Manchester United, I was uh, not quite cruising along. Maybe if you saw that last episode, now yeah, getting some wins. But yeah, we're uh, we're finding our feet in FIFA 20. So newly promoted Aston Villa. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna work hard for the points and to get some wins. So, yeah, let me know with selection with this team, uh, what you think, maybe formation. But I do like 4-2-3-1. I just wonder, is it going to be better to start Wesley and Abraham together? But then we won't have a striker to come on. So it's really tough. If we start them both, who's going to be coming on for him? Because I'd, you'd, I'd like Kodjia then Jota. I'd rather this bench where we got Lee Garcia to come on, that late chance we had that, with them in the box. Yeah. 
they could have scored on another day. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure you like the video, guys. More of this Aston Villa one's going to come. And like I said, please be patient with me. Please be patient. Uh, like in the Manchester United one, uh, it wasn't as much. I lost a couple games and people got so mad at me. <laughs> so yeah, give me a chance with Villa and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.